Okay, flexi sign lessons. Uh, this lesson is going to show you how to import a picture and vectorize it. Uh, we're going to start a new document and we can either click the import button right here or we can go file, import. Uh, I already have a picture, some free clip art I downloaded. Uh, just I just double clicked it or you can click once and then open. Bring it in and we're going to use the color trace which is either this button here or you can go to bitmap, vectorize, color trace. If it's a one color design that you're vectorizing, use BZA, you'll have much quicker, better luck with it. Uh, so we're going to go to color trace. I know it's going to take seven colors to do this. Because it's a cartoon character and I, I want to have nice smooth edges and not have to go back and spend a lot of time cleaning it up, I'm going to have it posterize the bitmap and just leave the edge filter normal. So I will draw a box around it and if we switch this to two you can see how that affects it. How many colors we have selected. I know I need seven for this so we'll get it on seven and I want to make sure that this does not have the little tab showing and is in the up position. I'm not going to merge any colors here um, I could probably merge these two together, this one and this one. Let's see if it affects it. Oh, that wasn't good. So let's just go back to seven colors and click apply. Now I'm having a weird little thing happen here where normally your vectorization is on top and for some reason it's putting it below it this time. I don't know why. I uh, haven't figured that out. So let me move this off of there and we have a problem. Let's try that one more time. Make sure I have just the JPEG and go to color trace, draw a box around it. It's good to, that you can see, you know, issues happen. Doesn't matter who you are, how many times you've used it, you know, things just happen. So apply and go back to my select tool and move my JPEG out of the way. And now you can see as I select individual parts that this is now a vectorized piece of art. So if I want to cut this, I'm going to try and do this as quick as I can because these videos are limited in length. Uh, let me select it by drawing a box around it. And then we're going to zoom to selected so we can work with it a little bit. First of all, I know I don't need this white background here and I can change it to a goofy color so you can see it. And I'm just going to hit delete and get rid of it. Okay, so now we got to kind of look at how this is put together and what we're going to be doing. If I'm going to be doing this out of, if I'm going to be printing this, it's fine. Uh, if I'm going to be doing it out of cut, I'm going to be doing it a little different. I would probably do it like this. I need to see, because of the way this works, sometimes things are placed on top of other things that don't need to be. And that's the case with these little dots in his nose. We're going to select them all by holding shift and adding them to the selection. Again, I'm holding shift down in order to add these to my current selection. And now that I have them all, I'm going to, to group them. And you can do that by going arrange, group, group. I'm just going to hit control. G. Oops, excuse me. Control G. There we go. Oh. Gosh, see? There we go. It's good to show you the mistakes. Select them all. Now, Control G. Now they're selected. Now I want to select the brown that they're sitting on top of. See, I can move them around. I don't want to have to lay black, lay brown, and then lay black on top of it. There's no reason for that. I want to cut these out of the brown so that the black behind can show through. So we're going to go and select, you know, these objects here, and then the other object we want to cut them out of, and then we will go to Effects, Combine, Cut Out. Now, it doesn't look like anything happened, but if I move this off, you can see they're actually cut out of it now. And I can move that back by going Control Z. <clears throat> um, so, you know, you got to think how you're going to put it together. Do you want to, are you going to be putting it on something white? If so, you don't need these white eyes in there. You could 
group the whites together. Control G. Okay, see now they're a group. And then add the black to the selection and go effects combine cut out. And now again, it doesn't look like anything's happened, but you'll notice I cannot select in this area because there's nothing there. I can select his pupils, but that's it. So this guy's, you know, basically ready to cut if you're going to be stacking the vinyl up. Which for this, if it were not backlit and I had to work with cut vinyl, that's what I would do. Um, that's one advantage when you can go to print. You don't have to worry about things like that. Uh, another question that I want to answer real quick is how to separate your outlines. Um, let's start with, I'll just draw a box and I'll put an outline on it by going effects, outline, uh, it's a big pink outline, let me pull it down a little ways just for fun. I'm going to do this outline with backing just to make it more obvious and then click apply. I can change my outline color here of course and various various things can be changed here. Your design central is very important. Uh, look at it frequently when you have different things selected to see what you can change. Anyhow we're going to apply that and to separate your outlines it's as simple as right click on it and separate outline. Now each item here is an individual item so that's how you do that it's very simple um, as far as the vectorizing of, of pictures flexi will only do so many colors it's really not the best program for doing uh, things that are over about 16 colors and you know for something like that you'll probably want to use Adobe Illustrator um, I'm not a big illustrator, a, a big Adobe fan, but they do have their uses. They are good programs. They're just uh, fairly confusing, <laughs> and they, you, they they have a very large learning curve. Flexi's pretty quick and easy. You know, for the person out there just working and wanting to get it done, uh, this should do it for you. So I've showed you how to separate your outlines. I've showed you how to vectorize something, and. Uh, let me know what other questions you have and I will post more videos.